Alright guys, Austin Thompson here. In this video, I am going to show you how to cut a cheeky little Scottish crop. We are going to be working here on short, thick hair. Previously, I've cut this hair from long to short, so you might want to stop this video just now, pause it, Go and check out the long to short tutorial I did, linked above. And then come back and check out how we develop the haircut and how we evolve it to the next style. This underneath section is part of the old haircut and I want to keep as much length as possible in there so that my finish can have a stronger outline. So elevating the section from the head and this will disconnect slightly over the shorter hair underneath. Carve out your next section. Elevate on to your previous section and likewise chop these edges off. Follow your guide. Carve your next section out. Lift that onto your previous section and chop. So always remember that on wet hair is structure and on dry hair is when we do the detail and the finish. So when we're talking about over directing, we mean you lift the section, you cut it, and then the next section that you carve out, you lift that, but you bring it a little bit back onto the previous section that you've just cut. When we're over directing these sections, we're pivoting out, we're pivoting round. So if you imagine a big juicy orange cut in half, that is our sectioning technique. So diagonally working through the head shape. On the other side, we are over directing onto the previous, and this is going to build up some weight and a little bit of length but it's discipline, control, technique which is going to make this haircut work. So I am working on incredibly thick hair. That being said, usually people with thick hair want their hair to feel a bit lighter but that is always a very important question to ask because never assume that that is always the case. But here the texture of the hair is super thick and Emotionally and psychologically, this hair texture works better with the reduction in the weight. So let's reduce the weight and let this hair feel a bit lighter. Moving to the back, we are connecting this shorter length from underneath into the length above and that's going to give us some classic, beautiful, round graduation. A code that I live by and my ethos is inspire and evolve. That is what I'm showing and demonstrating in this haircut, showing you from a previous haircut that I thought looked great and how I would develop that and move that forward given that ethos and the belief that I have. You shouldn't just know how to do the haircut but you should also know why to do the haircut, what elements you need to keep, what you need to work with to create something that's feminine, something that's classic, something that's got discipline and also something that is modern and looks current. Keep following this guideline and over directing and then eventually you will start to pick up the guideline that you created at the front and that is going to make up the longest part of this haircut. Then you're going to start working through this diamond section that we took out on the top and it's important that this section you smash the edges out, keep it textured but also keep it disconnected from what is happening underneath. Get the hair dried up and then spend a little bit of time putting a nice wee finish on it, chopping some contouring, opening out these cheekbones, putting an edge on. Spend a little bit of time on this hairline because your hairline at the back is as important as the hairline at the front. So as we work to the section at the front, we start the texturising the same place that we started when we put the structure into the haircut when it was wet. So now the hair's been dried up, it's been smoothed out, it's got a nice crisp glossy finish on it. So we are using a saw cutting technique and I'm going really close to the root here underneath and opening out all this texture in the hair, allowing the hair to be lighter but still retaining the structure in the edges. So using this technique means that this hair is going to have a lot of movement to it, it's going to be quite soft. It means that you can chuck this hairstyle around, you can wear it one way, you can wear it the other way, you can stick some styling products in it, you can let it air dry by itself and it will just look loose and light. It's got the structured discipline element to it and it's also got the soft feminine edge as well, but keeping it versatile and light. 
So keep that slicing technique happening all the way through this underneath section where we first started the haircut. Get a feel for it, move the hair around, chuck it from side to side and just make sure that the hair feels right, the weight distribution feels right, texture feels right and it's moving nicely. Alright and then as we start working up onto the section on the top then that is where we are reducing a little bit more weight on this disconnected diamond shape and spending the time chucking the hair around making sure it feels good, looks good and there you have it, a cheeky wee Scottish crop. I am going to lift this colour to a super light blonde in the coming weeks so let me know in the comments if you're into that kind of thing and if you get yourself subscribed to the channel you will see that when I do it and I'll see you in the next video where I will probably be banging on about the British Hairdressing Business Awards. <laughs>